Welcome back to Paper Whisper. Today, and yes, you've been waiting for it, I finally hit 20 subscribers. You know what that means? I'm going to show you I designed a scaled fi fiery and chaos dragon. Hope you enjoy. So, I don't, I, I forgot to bring it up, so that's not a big deal. I'm just not going to show it um, for now. Though so you'll be surprised. But now, we're going to start color side up with uh um you're gonna need a 72 by 72 division grid square grid so you're gonna start by folding this at the bottom edge to the top edge but not fully you're just gonna make a pinch for now i'll be using a sheet a uh, approximately 20 inch sheet of double tissue more like 19 inches not perfect not perfectly eight and a half i guess anyways so we made the pinch now, we're going to make a pinch up to that pinch, and then a pinch up to the pinch, that pinch. Yeah, one more. And then, by the way, make sure you have both your diagonals creased. Um, then, you're going to fold so that you, um, you're going to fold so that you have... You basically, you make a crease, but not a full crease, between this point where the pinchy hits the edge. Um, I can't talk. Um, and you're gonna make it all the way to the bottom right corner. But, like I said, you're not gonna make a full crease. You're just gonna line it up, and then I'll tell you what to do next. By the way, of course, if you want more skills, you can always use a bigger grid. Just make sure it's divided. Just make sure you're able. The grid is able to be divided by two. And I recommend also recommend using a grid that that number is divisible by three, so it's easier to make as a full scale dragon. Now you're gonna make a strong pinch where your diagonal is and unfold. Now going to crease from this intersection all the way across so that the edges stay aligned like this by the way as always make strong and accurate creases this is a pretty complex model. Same level as the fi fire breathing chaos dragon, the normal one without scales. You just it takes a bit more time to make like the scale stuff. Make it strong, then unfold and rotate 180 degrees. Like it, I'm not sure I said this yet, but you want a super strong thin paper. Because there are parts of the scale where you kind of pull out flaps and then it could possibly rip. But you don't want that. Have you seen my other video on the scales? My most popular video. So now you're going to fold the edge to the crease you just made. And then you're going to fold this edge to this the raw edge but keep it folded the raw edge but make sure that the layers don't slide or I should say the layer then fold this edge to this not so raw edge fix that Increase strong once you're done. Well, if you know, um, if you know how to make a 72 by 72 grid, you can just skip forward. Okay, we have our nine divisions. Now, we're going to repeat that in the other direction, the nine divisions. So, make a crease. So, it's going to be a bit easier this time. Make a crease from this point all the way across, then this one, then this one, then this one. Rotate. 
and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. I'll show you how to do that if this made no sense. Basically, you're going to do the same thing as last time. Unfold. Now make a crease from this point across the intersection. The intersection point, whatever you want to call it. And then make it go up so that you have the next intersection point locked in place. And then um we're gonna fold this time it's gonna be a bit easier, just gonna fold to the last intersection up to it, or you can go by we're, we're, actually, it would be more accurate if you go by this intersection. Okay, unfold. Rotate 180 degrees. And repeat. So. One. May need a bigger paper, but yes, I'll try. And then hold up to here. And then hold up to the last crease. Unfold. And you have a nine by nine grid. Now, basically, you're gonna divide each of these. Basically, you're gonna divide each section into eight in every direction. So, fold. Basically, you're gonna fold to this crease. Then, and fold to the the crease after the next crease. And then the crease after that crease, of the next crease. Then the next, two, the second next crease. I think you get the point. You're gonna, each time you're gonna go two creases up. The original one I designed had a 56 by 56 grid, but it didn't look great because it didn't have enough scales, on my, in my opinion. This is going to be a long tutorial, but, um, probably the longest video I've ever made. But anyways, it's not important. Just try to follow along the best you can. So to rotate 90 degrees and repeat. <coughs> <clears throat> and then fold the, this raw edge up to the next second, this next second crease. Then you go to the next second crease. I know grids are boring, but they have to get done for this origami. Then 
then with the next two pieces. Then edge to edge. This isn't exactly a crease. So you just go to the edge. Just you're folding it in half. Unfold. First at 90 degrees. And now we're gonna do the second thing. Except after that we're gonna do it. we're not gonna rotate it yet. By the way, um, the I'm not sure I told you, I'm pretty sure I did. You want the final color side up, but it doesn't really matter. You can always flip the grid over. Now we're gonna move to right over here. Oops. There we go. Oops. Yeah, we're gonna go right over here. Then we're gonna hold up four. Four creases since they're divided in half. And then fold in half. Oh, right, we already did that, so you don't have to do that. Now, what we're gonna do, this is how we're gonna get the 70 seconds. Now, we're gonna fold this raw edge to the first crease. And then we're gonna fold the edge up to where the color is neat. The color is neat. Oh, I meant to. Oh, feel free to check out my new crochet channel, Crochet 101. Make sure to subscribe and enjoy it. I can tell you, crochet is a lot simpler than origami if you have the right teacher. Unfortunately, when I do that, by the way, you're going to repeat this every two creases, um, but basically, um, um, it's, well, if you have the right teacher, you're going to need, and for this channel, you're going to need to learn the basic stitches, double, treble, um, half double, um, single, and, the, um, the slip stitch, the slip knot, and the chain stitch. You're going to need to know all those, but otherwise, you're going to be good. If you, um, um, but otherwise my channel will be a bit more simple if you guys are getting frustrated with these origami videos. One sec, let me plug the computer in. Sorry, um, and unfold, but feel free to go check that out. <clears throat> and then do the usual. And then unfold and go to not the next crease, but the one after it, just like we usually do. Yeah, I can tell you the scales are gonna take a while. Unfold. 
go to the next second crease. <clears throat> I went too far, actually. Actually, I think. Yeah, I think I went too far. But I think if you um. If you like fine motor, like origami, I recommend crochet, doing crochet too. It's a lot of fun. It's very calming, and I think you're really gonna like it. If you like origami, it's nothing like it, but it's good. And keep going. By the way, I'd recommend having be. I recommend having a good amount of experience in origami by being able to fold the scales or my dragon scales video, the dragon scales tessellation video. And I also recommend being able this model only if you've been able to fold um my fire breathing chaos dragon. This is kind of like a, a mod, kind of like Among Us or something. Kind of like that. So that's basically it. As long as you have enough experience, then you should be fine. Hopefully. Okay, and I believe there's one more. We have our first eye done. Wait, no, we don't. Got confused. We have to do one more. Now, if you're doing this, please don't get confused like I did. Bad idea. It's a bad feeling to get confused. Okay, go to 90 degrees and repeat. I guess I got the allergies. 
this pollen. It's a spring. You probably know how to do this by now, so I'm not going to narrate it as much. If you got confused, make sure to rewind to see how I did it. Now, hold it here. And then, fold the edge to the raw edge. Then fold two up. <clears throat> now pay attention, people are scared. Okay, and then go two more up. Probably not going to narrate as much for the rest of the grid because you probably can see it. If not, I'll try to get a better camera view. It's not easy to zoom in with this webcam. Okay, by the way, when you're done, um, wait, please, um, I'll, um, just for, tell, just, when you're done, um, just wait for the video, unless you, like, skip forward, then you can keep going, based on where I am. Okay, 
unfold. And then, you're going to fold up two more. And, fold the edge to the crease. Unfold. Hold up two more. the last one and then once you finish these creases come on, come on line up please come on stick with me paper and hold to that crease with the edge Unfold and unfold. Now rotate another 90 degrees. I know it's boring. We're almost on the grid. And we, this time, we don't need to do any extra creases. We just fold, you know, we start it immediately. Up to here, okay. Unfold, and then go to the next one. Oh, sorry about that. Bumped my finger on the camera. Now this time, we're going to go up to the bump. No, we're going to count one, two, three, four. We're going to go up to there. So first, yeah, I'll go up to there. And then, forward as usual.
and then we go eight more and we go up to the one above each um part where it's um a mountain fold basically we go to the crease above each mountain fold but we don't go to every one we go to every other one kind of like a chess board checkerboard pattern or like stripes like stripes Here. Unfold. Go up to here. Too far? No. And fold. And we're going to go up to the last one. Unfold. And we are three quarters of the day. Wait, sorry, three quarters of the way done. The grid, not the grid. We are way more than that. But um, we're three quarters of the way done. This part of the grid, and then we'll be done the grid. One last side. Yay! Okay, so mm -hmm. um, you're gonna fold up to here. And then fold it to here. And then unfold and go up to here. Now I'll fold up to here. You should be getting the point by now. And if I'm not showing well enough, just tell me in the comments.
and then fold up here. I should say move it up to here. Right? And then fold up to above the crease above the last mountain fold. I know this grid is tedious, kind of, but it takes. You need to recruit for a lot of these things that I'm gonna teach you these days. Unfold and unfold. And congrats, we are finally, finally, finally done with the grid. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a mountain fold that goes that is a 45 degree angle that goes from the corner and eight spaces up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, actually, never mind. We already have those creases. We'll just strengthen them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to reverse 180 degrees. And repeat on the other two corners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, we do one more. Eight. Okay, last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ta da! And we are done with the pre freezing. Now, um, we are gonna do a bit more. What we're gonna do is. We are going to make a mountain. Basically, we're going to do the beginning of a pleat sink. So, we're going to make a mountain fold here and a mountain fold here. And then pinch it together. And basically, you're going to kind of wrote, kind of alternate which way we do it. So mountain fold, valley fold, mountain fold, valley fold, mountain fold, valley fold, and mountain fold, valley fold. Actually, I think I counted wrong about the mountain fold, valley fold thing. Anyways. Basically, you're basically going to keep making your, the, um, basically you're going to keep doing this until you get to the end of the diagonal. But make sure you have a mountain fold as the first crease on the next to the very crease, the very first crease next to the edge. Okay, 
and we have it. Our first one. Now we're gonna move, move these these um folds. Basically, we're gonna extend the creases. Let me change the view a bit. Let's do all of them. And we are done with that part. Let me just check. Oops. And the last one. Okay, and we have that those creases extended. Now we're gonna do the next one. The next part of the pleat sink. And then once you do that, you're basically gonna repeat it all the way around. And then, I'm going to finish this off real quick. And then, we will um, keep going.
There we go. Near our second one done. We're gonna finish it up with the third and then the fourth one, just the last one. Sorry, I'm itchy again. It's one of my earlier videos, so you might know I'm pretty itchy. Okay, almost there. And then, rotate 90 degrees as usual. We are, we are over halfway there. We are gonna do the next one. Yeah, this mod wasn't that hard, just is really time consuming and I need it. And then Stick with me. Yeah, you want a sturdy thin paper. I strongly recommend wet folding actually. I'll be getting some wet folding paper sometime soon. So I'd love to try out for a tutorial, but <clears throat> I'd recommend doing some wet folding for this model. It might help. Like maybe using craft paper or something.
Now, we're almost there. I say this is the most frustrating part. This doesn't stay together easily. And there we have the helicopter going by. And then we're gonna make the last part of the partial pleat sink. And then we're just gonna connect these two ends, the creases. Okay, we're almost done. Hopefully this video doesn't hit one hour. Hopefully not. Okay.
And now, we're basically going to flatten it inside. And flatten it down. Basically, the, um, the flaps you can put in either direction. This is the actually the end of part one of the fire breathing chaos dragon. Sorry, the scale, scaled version. I have been to, and I will see and I will upload this and hopefully I will be and the second part will come out soon. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you next time. Bye.